David Alexander, the sheriff just told me those two Pottawatomie County recruits are okay. I'm also told Council Bluffs police did not have any recruits there during this morning's incident. Just before 6 a.m., an overnight security officer sensed something wasn't right in the Camp Dodge dorm north of Des Moines. Within minutes, she got everyone out and called 911. First responders, you know, to be and in training. So, you know, they, they, they're tough people. 86 students training to be future law enforcement officers were on the other side of the emergency Thursday after a strong smell of gas forced an evacuation. They put their shoes on and, and you know, took what they need, needed and evacuated to their cars and then to another building. Firefighters and medics responded to the academy to assess those students at least 76 experiencing symptoms. Mostly headache, nausea, uh, lightheadedness, and then also had elevated uh, carbon monoxide bleeding, uh, readings in their blood. Those were the ones that were transported first. Des Moines Area Regional Transit buses and the Iowa National Guard helped rush the students to six different area hospitals. I mean, it's definitely, it's a lot different from responding from 10 people that are injured versus 97 potential patients. So, and it definitely overwhelms the hospital system quickly. Crews then checked the building and found the strongest levels of carbon monoxide coming from the basement. They're still investigating the cause of the leak, but say levels are back down to zero and all students are expected to be okay. To transport 70, 75 patients in, in that time frame um, and, and not have anybody that was severely injured is, is great. During the last legislative session, lawmakers did approve roughly $12 million for the demolition and redesign of the Iowa Law Enforcement Academy. The Academy's director that you just heard from said today that just this week they were meeting with designers for those plans. They expect the recruits to return to class Monday on their way toward graduation next month. Back to you.